Hello everybody, here we are again, Munton's Old English Bitter, but we're not here to talk about that. Well, it is very nice. Yesterday, package arrived. Kindly sent by Jimbo's Homebrew, I'll put a link to his channel up. Didn't have time to unbox it last night. So here we are. Now we'll just cut it open. Must ask where he got this tape from. It's like a, a glass reinforced tape. We might be able to see this in a second. It's not the sort of tape that you can just slit at one side and Rip. It's got reinforcings along the middle. Right. As always a note. Hope this parcel will find you well. Just wanted to get something out to you before lockdown. Sorry, no homebrew. So I went on a mission to Sainsbury's. I think you've already had one of them uh, from me before. Oops. Cheers, Jim. It's all right. So, what have we got? The usual bundles of air, packing wise. So what have we got here? Well packaged. Oh, I've not had one of these for absolutely years. I think it must be at least ten years. And it doesn't want to come out. It's fighting. There we go, got it. And that is a Robinson's Old Tom. 8.5% volume, 330 mils. I didn't drink a lot of Old Tom, but I've had, I used to frequent one pub that used to have it on. It wasn't its best seller. People used to go in and get a half and because of this loopy juice. Oh. Bird's eye, chili flavour, coated peanuts. Go well to beer. Right, after fighting with the last one, I'll cut the tape. That should make it easier. Always just got plenty of bubble wrap. That's a good three foot of bubble wrap. Thought is about that, I think. But when you're holding it, it's turning your nose away. Bishop's Finger. That's a shepherd's name. Bishop's Finger, which 5.4% Kentish Strong Ale. I have had Bishop's Finger before, but that's going to be a while back as well. 
back when I used to frequent pubs before I went just into full time home brewing and living in woolly back country where there's no pubs within a mile although I have moved since but I find you get out of the habit of going if you uh, I had a big break of going to any sort of pub because we just lived too far away. Well, I tried putting the tape and it sort of worked. Only sort of. Someone's sounding good. Triple XB. Oh, no. It's a Bateman's Triple XB. Which I think I've brewed in the past. I know I've had a Bateman's Triple XB from elsewhere as well, I think. 4.8%. beers are getting weaker. Still not weak, it's 4.8%, but yeah, that's going to be a nice one. Looking forward to that one. More on the wrap. And last but not least, we have 225 grams of Challenger. Challenger hot pellets. I think of a views challenger. Uh, aroma profile. Spicy cedar green tea. Yes, I think I have. Looking at the profile. I'm fairly sure I've used challenger before. Hops make them from more than one batch. Right, so a nice bundle of I'll probably use them for dry hopping. Might dry hop. What the hell? Spicy cedar and green tea. I might try dry hopping a wherry. Wherries are nice on their own, but what the heck? Let's try dry hopping. We've got some pops. Right, so many thanks for to Jimbo's homebrew for sending. We've got three beers, a big packet of peanuts and a pack of hops. Keep it going for a while. I'll, uh, I don't think I've reviewed those. Certainly not commercial. I've reviewed the Triple XB, the Bateman's Triple XB. I don't think I've ever had a homebrew old Tom. I think I've got a recipe. But I'm a bit shy of making a batch of 40 pints of Old Tom. I'd be on me back all night, every night, for however long it takes to get rid of it. Right, so there we go. Nice beer mail. A nice beer. It's Munson's Old English Bitter. I think I've already told you that. Beer kit. Right, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.